In this module, I will show you how to write profit pulling emails. In the earlier modules, you already know the importance of building a mailing list and the techniques to increase your mailing list. Now, the next step for you is to learn how to write a profit pulling email for your subscribers. A mailing list is useless if you don't have powerful and engaging emails for your subscribers. The format of an email should be standardized. This is crucial to leave a good impression on your readers. In addition, it will be more personalized when they know it's coming from you and your readers will appreciate the fact that you took the time to create a valuable content which is beneficial for them. Here is a standardized format you can follow. Create a subject line, content, call to action, and PS line. By following this format, even without any experience in writing emails, you can write a profitable email. Let's look further into the elements one by one now. The subject line acts as the opener. It is the determining factor, whether your email will be opened and read or if it goes into the trash. But don't worry, just follow the criteria listed here and I can assure you that the open rate of your emails and response from the readers will definitely increase. First, a subject line should not be more than 50 characters. Why? Because the subject line showed in the mailbox can only show so much. Anything more than 50 characters will not be shown so it's preferable to keep it below 50 characters. Next, you have to answer them, what's in it for me? People usually open an email that is related to their needs. You have to create a sense of urgency for them to quickly open it and make them feel that they would miss something important if they don't. Do not reuse a subject line, even after a long time. Keep your subject line fresh every week and stay updated. Lastly, Pique the reader's curiosity as it's been proven to be one of the most effective ways to engage them. Moving on to the content of your email, it must be simple and straight to the point. Keep in mind that readers will not spend more than 15 or 20 minutes to read an email. Use the simplest word to convey everything you need as fast as possible. Use ASCII characters in writing the emails. The program that comes built in on your computer is called the Notepad. You can write the email in Notepad first and then copy-paste it. Take note of this. Keep every line within 65 characters. This is a time-tested technique, which allows the readers to read better. To make things simpler, there is a free program you can download from the net called Note Tap. A small little bonus here about the content of your email is always writing pre-sell emails. You do not sell in the email campaign yet. The selling comes after they've actually acted upon your email the email must be able to make them get excited and keep them wanting more of your content or offers. This is the heart of the whole concept of email marketing campaign, the call to action. A bad email will remain unopened and unread. A good email makes the reader open and read, but a good profit-pulling email makes the reader open, read, and act upon it. Insert your own links or affiliate links at least three times in the email. Put the first link after the introduction, then the second link after the content, and the third link after the call to action. In addition, you can put another extra link after your PS line, but that is it, a maximum of four links in one email. The reason you need to put that many links is to make it easier for your readers. Some of them might not be motivated to click the link after they've read the introduction, or even after the content, but they might be interested to click the link after your call to action. Don't expect them to scroll all the way up again to click on the link. As a result, follow the steps here to put the link in your email. A PS line is an acronym for Postscript Line, which means contents that come after your signature. It is your last opportunity to make your point to promote your product or service. The PS line is the reminder for you to hook the readers for the upcoming events. As mentioned earlier, the email is a pre-sell letter for your upcoming event. Some bonus tips in writing emails here. To sum up the techniques I mentioned earlier, the first tip is to keep practicing. Practice makes perfect. Another powerful human trait that an online marketer must fully utilize is the me factor. There's an age-old question, what's in it for me? The keyword here is me. Remember to answer this question. Speak in terms of you instead of I in your email to make them feel that this email is for them. Continue to the fourth tip. Go easy with exclamation marks. It's a common mistake by most online marketers. They use too many exclamation marks. 
They assume exclamation marks create a sense of urgency, but in fact, too much of it and it will seem like you are yelling at your readers instead. How do you feel when you see the exclamation marks with red color in this video? This is exactly how the readers feel. Be aware of using all capital letters as well. All capital letters is equivalent to shouting or yelling as well. It doesn't draw attention nor convey excitement. Last but not least, check the spelling and grammar of your emails. Grammatical and spelling errors make your email look unprofessional. That is why proofreading is important. Do not fully rely on the built-in grammar check in Microsoft Word. It doesn't mean it is not accurate, but sometimes it's not completely reliable.